Now in recent days much has been made about Rory McIlroy's comments about the driver he had in his bag over the weekend at the Players' Championship. It seemed to have failed him, he seemed a little bit disappointed, but I reckon there's a club under this head cover which is perfectly suited to both Rory McIlroy and plenty of average golfers out there. This one is going to be a bit of a surprise. So in today's video I'm going to be looking at the TaylorMade Stealth 2 HD model and that's all important because this thing has blown my mind and just how forgiving it is and TaylorMade themselves claim it to be their most forgiving driver in the Stealth 2 lineup and that's largely due to the way this weight has been positioned. They've got an incredible 30 grams of weight positioned right at the very back of this club head which is a significant number more than I have seen from any other brand in terms of that weight position at the back and then they've obviously stuck some weight in at that heel area which is aiding that draw bias now slightly tongue-in-cheek in terms of the comments about Rory but in all reality this is quite possibly the most forgiving driver that I've tested so far in 2023 and out here on the course at Hollywell I'm going to show you a few shots as to why I think this could be a real interesting product for a lot of average golfers and I don't understand why Taylor Made aren't making more noise about it. So what every golfer needs more than anything right now is forgiveness. So when they're not hitting the ball that great, and in my opinion, Rory wasn't driving the ball that great over the weekend, then what he should have looked for was ultimate forgiveness in his driver head. If you want that, then there is a product within Stealth 2 lineup that is perfectly suited. If you're losing the ball to the right, then this thing is even more suited. They have shifted weight like I've never seen before in a driver head, and it makes it the most forgiving driver I've possibly ever tested, and no one's even talking about it. And maybe it's time Rory did. Well, what's really interesting is that really high ball flight is the first thing to notice, but maybe more importantly is the fact that this thing does what it says on the tin. In fact, draw bias is something that I've really stayed away from, to be honest with you, in the past. I play for a little bit of a cut, and what I really like about this is that I can still play that exact same swing, but the weighting system is negating that movement in the ball from left to right, and I'm hitting straight shots. I'm going to hit another one off this very same tee and see if I can back that up. Well, that's incredible and rarely do I hit two shots that are almost identical in their ball flight and I would imagine landed in very similar positions. But the key fact is that's two balls that are straight and Rory, why are you using this driver? Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Right, before I go any further into this review of this HD driver, I'd really be interested to know as a side note what you thought of Rory's comments regarding his driver's performance after that Players' Championship. I found it an odd one to be quite honest with you and uh, we all like to blame our tools at times but when you've signed a multi-million pound contract it wasn't what I expected to hear from Rory so I'd be interested to know what you think. Now one of the issues that many golfers have with a HD or a draw bias driver sorry is the way that the club head sits at address mainly because of the offset that it normally has and uh, it's very not it's very difficult golfers like me included that seem to think that the ball is or the club head is set up aiming left at address and interestingly enough Rory mentioned the point that one of the issues he has with driver at the moment and the tweaks that they've tried to make is he doesn't like the way he sees that club sat at address what I'm going to say about this HD model is in all honesty with both the standard stealth the stealth plus normal heads placed together at the address position I can't honestly see a great deal of difference between them. So the draw bias is less about offset in my opinion and more about weighting, which is a real positive to many golfers who, like I said, would have an issue with that offset at address. Once again, just a towering ball flight. So, so impressed with what this thing does. And again, 
as you can see that ball just doesn't move what i would normally expect to see is definitely with my swing is a spin of a ball moving if there's only just an element of it moving from left to right i'm not getting any if anything that draw bias is helping me move the ball a tad to the left so right to left but really it's just negating that spin and giving very much a neutral ball flight maybe i should have been considering draw bias drivers for quite some time obviously a bit of a fool I'd be really interested to know your thoughts so far on the Taylor May Stealth 2 lineup in general, to be honest with you. It's been an interesting period in terms of obviously club releases and uh, your feedback if you've tried any of these new Stealth 2 drivers would be greatly appreciate, be appreciated because don't forget what happens is, this is my opinion, but in the comment section down below, people will feed off what you say and take advice from what you say in that comment section. So please, like I said, get involved in that comments. Right. Time for another drive, this time across the corner. And I say across the corner for a reason. We've done a few videos from this uh, position in um, recent weeks. And the main thing I talk about is confidence. This is not a hole that I would ordinarily pick driver. But right now there's a few models that uh, I've been playing which are really becoming a stronger part of my game. And that is driver, playing driver, which never used to be the case. Now this one we're going to shift out to the right hand side and hopefully the wind brings it in a little. Let's see if we can do that. Oh look how solid that is. There's no better feeling to be honest with you than it's in a nice easy swing and seeing that ball sail off straight. Really enjoyable to hit. I mean I am a big fan of the sound and feel that comes off carbon wood and I know that isn't the case for everybody out there. I've read and heard the criticisms. I don't really understand it to be honest with you because I think I definitely put it up there with probably the best feeling driver I've played. But again, it's all very personal, isn't it? It's what you feel comes back into the hands, what you hear and all those things go into that element of feel. I really struggle to criticize it and in terms of this hd model i'm assuming scotty scheffler must have this in his bag i'm going to very briefly talk about aesthetics because i realize it's very subjective very personal i think from a shelf appeal perspective that sort of black and red high gloss i'm picking this thing up all day long really looks good in my eyes but then it is that address position i'm going to be slightly contradictory of what i say in many videos and that is i love a matte crown and I would have preferred what they did in previous iterations and even that sort of finish on the sim drivers for me was really really nice so I would prefer that it wasn't the gloss crown they do a more matte finish at the front edge and then there's a little bit of red edge in detail all around the club head itself it differs from that of the plus model and for me I think the aesthetics on this standard is nicer to look at to be honest with you and that red does one thing it sort of almost makes the club head look a little bit smaller almost like a 440 cc driver so again for me uh, at that address position i like what it does i'm sure maybe that coloring is not intended to do that but that's the way i see it at that address position and again the red face well i don't object to that i actually quite like it that's it done as ever there's only so much you can do in a club review uh, especially out here on the course i collect dry ball data but in all honesty we've done that in the initial review of both the uh, standard and the plus models i'm not expecting to see a great deal of difference in terms of what we see there but i really do like testing out on the course because that is reality and what i've seen is exactly what i'd seen some pre-testing off camera and that is this for me hits this ball incredibly straight i find it a very forgiving driver and taylor made are very much the kings of marketing and in this instance i think they're failing a little bit in that they're not making more of a big deal of this hd model on the website they claim it to be their most forgiving version and for me i would really be pushing that idea and concept because i think and again talking about me personally I would have been put off trying it because it's the HD version, a draw bias. And naturally, I wouldn't have been interested in trying that head. You tell me it's super forgiving and that draw bias is actually not affecting me that great at all. Like I said, in my sense, it's actually improving what I'm seeing in terms of ball flight, then I am all in. So 
don't ignore this one it's super forgiving it's right up where there with the g430 max with the paradigm x super super forgiving driver and that's the key takeaway from this for me don't ignore it and rory maybe you should give this one a try anyway that's me done i'm absolutely frozen thanks for watching it's sunny but cold i'll see you tomorrow night